What's up y'all? Ryan here with Southern Reptiles. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. I am on the tortoise farm, always having a good day on the tortoise farm and uh, got a lot going on. I'm getting ready to head over to Fred Grunwald's house. I uh, just threw the cast net, which I am definitely not a professional at, but I threw the cast net about five or six times and got about two or three dozen Mayan cichlids, which are a type of fish that are invasive to South Florida. And I am going to be bringing them over to Fred because he likes to dump them into his ponds for feeding and they breed and reproduce in the ponds. And that way he kind of has a constant source, you know, Fred's retired. He doesn't, you know, he's not a millionaire. So uh, you know, buying food for all of his animals, it's an expensive bill. So just trying to help him out with a little bit of uh, fish. I bring him some mosquito minnows from uh, time to time and uh, a little bit of things here and there. So um, if you are watching, please hit the thumbs up and also uh, like and subscribe the video. And uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned. All right, I just fed the Velociraptors some mealworms, so they're occupied, hanging out. They also, I give them a mixture of a protein pellet for eggs and seeds, so they have plenty of that under, under there. But we got lots and lots of eggs. Got my little bowl here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. These are so warm. And keep in mind, these aren't fertile eggs there. I don't have a male rooster. Too much noise. We just keep the uh, females and, and get the eggs. Everybody happy? <laughs> They're fat and happy. I got, I think I've showed it before, but this is a wa their water dish hooked up by PVC to this tank. I fill that tank about once a week. All right, calm down. I fill the tank once a week with water, so they constantly have water. And uh, yeah, it makes it easy because they make a mess of the water otherwise um, with the ones where you set them on the ground. So. These are the southern reptiles chickens right here. These were all donated to us, so thank you to everybody who gave them to us. Be nice to each other. As soon as the sprinklers come on, the yellow foot just start going at it. big beautiful guy all right so I got one of one of my female cherry heads is digging a nest I'm really really surprised I just had my other female uh, digging the uh, two days ago and normally they're not laying this time of the year I, it, it's just been an off season I guess just because of the it was cold a lot and not a lot of rain, so that probably had something to do with it. But yeah, she's uh, definitely digging away. Look at 
looks like she's all pretty much got the whole set getting ready to start laying one of my other ones is trying to bite at my toe right now Keep you guys posted on how many she lays. She's a big girl. It's my biggest cherry head. She's about 11 inches. It's big for a cherry considering this little girl is only about eight and a half. See, they usually like to pick corners um, to lay or up against structures is usually where they pick a spot. All right, so as you can see, she has deposited, looks like the first egg. And it's pretty cool how meticulous they are about, about moving. They shift the eggs around so gently with their feet and position them in such a way that they're, they're able to fit all the eggs in the, the nest. Not always, I've seen some where the eggs are sticking out, where they, you know, buried six and left one egg above the nest. Sorry, my chickens are going crazy, even though I just fed them five minutes ago. <laughs> but I love them. They're, they're like my little dogs. They're, they let me know when the, when the crows are out here looking for tortoise eggs. The, the chickens make noise, so they kind of give me a heads up. They're my guard chickens. But yeah, so she deposited the first egg and looking good, looking good. This cherry head produces some beautiful babies. She's got marbling and just a, a beautiful shell. All right, so my female cherry head is done laying. I put this mat over it um because these crows will come dig up the eggs if i'm not quick enough so um let's get started digging see what we got i think you can hear the crow right behind me yep see that crow up in the tree that's the culprit right there She covered it up with some pine needles. And there are eggs. Let's see here. Packed them in nicely. There's one egg. I see at least a couple more. There's two. Four eggs from 
Big Mama. That's good by me. Fill this back in. Four cherry head eggs for the bucks. Hopefully they'll be fertile. Over here at Fred Grunwald's house, I just uh, cast netted a bunch of Mayan cichlids, um, which are, if those that don't know, uh, they're an invasive species fish found in South Florida and he's got all kinds of turtles in here, Mata Matas, Batikers, a little bit of everything, Central American wood turtles. And I gave him about, I don't know, two, two and a half dozen cichlids, all, all different sizes. And uh, they're, uh, yeah, they're an evasive. So they're good, good feeding for the, the, the big turtles. They, they love to eat them. And this, I, I just love these enclosures at his house, man. It's it's uh, the most naturalistic enclosures. It's amazing. There he is, Fred, the man, the the myth, the legend, <laughs> Sir Fred Grunwald. <laughs> no, but he can always use a little little extra food for the animals so i try to bring over some fish and things like that to to help out in the ponds and everything and but these uh it's just amazing with the the wood and the the trees and the plants and everything how how well the turtles thrive and and clearly they're doing well because they're breeding and i mean Fred, how many Central American wood turtle hatchlings have you found in here? Uh, I don't really know, but... Quite a few. I lot over the years. They've been in here with some of them for over 20 years. Yeah. That's what's put out Nemus in here. Yeah. Um, pink bellies. Uh, different mud and mess. There's stuff in here I haven't even seen for yeah. every year. Nice shows. All these little hides in here. It's cooling down a little bit, so I'm sure everybody's kind of bunkered down for the evening, but it's, uh, I'm sure there's some, uh, turtles under here in this, uh, this hide. There we go. There's uh one, two, three, four, five Central American woods. Cool stuff. You want to talk about a living dinosaur? <laughs> Look at this. This is a eleven and a half foot american alligator that fred keeps is this a male or a female fred this is, male. This is the male and then over there that is she's older than him really she's yeah. older than him oh, yeah. yeah so there's a big size difference big time oh size bigger and look at that pond area they got over there. And and you have any you have some snappers in there or no? There's nothing in here but midnight. Oh. Because uh they were permitted. I think he's uh my my voice I think he's <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's getting annoyed by me. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, I think. Look at how beautiful <laughs> those diamondbacks are. So that's a male and a female right yeah, there, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 
They're looking for food. <laughs> yeah, there you, yeah, yeah, it's up food. And what do you got? I see down there in that uh, hide. Uh, that's probably a hidden grand this year. Oh, okay. I think you got one. Yeah, the one you gave me. Yeah, it's doing it's good. It. Yeah, it's here in there. There's seven in here. Probably about six or eight. There's one, there's two. There's yep. three right there. They're all over. Yeah, they're. They're not quite big enough to with the, the big ones. I mean, there's th this. There's so many hiding spots in here. There, I mean, there could be a baby diamond back in here that. There should be, but you see that, team. They, I mean, yeah, I mean, there could be one. Just so absolutely hit, hidden. Now. Yeah. That, that's the fun part. Yeah, I know. Like with my Florida box turtles, when I find a baby Florida box turtle in the enclosure, I that's that's my. I, I, I bet I come out here five times a day. Yeah. And at midnight. Yeah, and check. Me, I'm looking. You're looking. <laughs> I mean, really, it never gets to... old. No, it never gets old. That's so fun. awesome Fred's doing a little turtle feeding Fred how many turtles do you think are in here in total in this whole enclosure this is a massive enclosure uh, about 20 tortoises 20 tortoises yeah, and probably about 30 butter. and about 30 aquatics yeah They're all coming over. <laughs> that that red ear. Is it albino or is it hypo? It's That's, a hypo albino. Let's get a close That's up of that thing. That's an algae bit. Yeah. Them, uh, That's an amazing red ear right there. Very cool. Need you to uh, clean that bit. Yeah, well, all turtles that yeah. live outside get that algae on the shell. But he's particular about um, fish feed. Yeah. Kill a cow. He does not. He only wants them. He the doesn't enjoy green like everybody else does. He just likes the Missouri. Yeah, or yeah. the right? Yeah. Any fish you kill a cow. He's reluctant to take greens. Yeah. I don't really understand that, but whatever. And your chicken turtles, red ears, red bellies, yellow bellies. That's even this to uh, catch a person. Um, Amazing. Any fish in here? Yeah, there's no fish. There's Zambuja. There's Tilapia. Uh, there may be more. <laughs> yeah, this enclosure is huge. I, I love this. And the addition here, the, this is the end up floating into here. Yeah, this this usually flows into here. Yeah, this would be a, a, a shadow pond. I'm putting it out right here. Oh, you are putting a yeah, well in? Yeah, just a hand. Hand does that. Nice. And you have to pierce the chowder, obviously. Yep. It's beautiful. But it's, it's fun back here. Oh yeah, especially when the p pump's running, it's like a, it's just like a big creek. Yeah, it's really like that. It's just so yeah, I've gotten videos before, but I'll show. Look at that, swimming upstream there. That may be a new 
Yeah, it is. And that pine log over the top, it's pretty cool. And then it flows down. Some nice cypress trees back in here. Yep. Yeah, the bamboos. Yeah, it may it makes for a good great substrate, but it uh it definitely clogs up the uh <laughs> the flow. Now it's moving. Now it's flowing. Look at that. <clears throat> Red foot's all hiding up in the bamboo here. Yeah. Cool stuff, man. I love it. Yeah, they're just burrowed down. I mean, there, there could be babies burrowed down in this bamboo leaves that you wouldn't even know about. There's, looks like a female coming out to see what's going on. Look at this. this. Is this a yellow foot, Fred? Yeah, look, this yellow foot is fully submerged. Fully submerged yellow foot, like it's an aquatic turtle. Just amazing. It's full, fully submerged with its head just poked up out of the water right, right in the stream. So cool. A bit, that's a big red foot. Is that? That's a female. I think that might be a female. It, look, it looks like a female, just by the shape. I'm gonna guess female. Uh, female, definite. Yeah, this is maybe. Yeah, that looks like a male. The bad shape. Yeah, with the peanut, oh, yeah, the, the peanut shape and the yeah. concavity. Yep. Cool. All right, guys, signing out. It's a little tour at Fred's house. Always something exciting going on here. Fred's the man. All right, guys, this is it. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. These redfoots are chowing down on some romaine right now. Um, if you are interested in any tortoises like these redfoots or other species, I have Russians, Hermans, Yellowfoots, Pancakes, Leopards, um, Cherry Heads. Feel free to visit my website at the link. You'll see it on the page. And uh, also, I will put it in the description of the video. It's www.southernreptiles.net. And thank you again for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. Have a good evening.